Uh, on to some, some other thoughts. In what ways would you say the Disney Institute and the way you provide training, whether it's outside or inside the company, is different or similar than other best-in-class companies? Yeah. Everybody's always talking about best-in-class. My personal opinion on that is a little bit different, but what would you say is similar or different? Good question. You know, there's a lot of great training companies out there. A lot of people do a lot of really good work around the world. If you had to nail it down to one thing, I think it's the fact that we actually only use our own cast members, Disney World for employees, okay. to do the actual training. So you're not going to see an environment where we've hired a contractor to come in and teach our content. We're actually the only ones that can teach our content. Okay, that is great. Um, let's let's kind of switch gears. A uh, lot of conceptual. A lot of a lot of people talk conceptually when it comes to the point of leadership development for training for customer service training. How do you tactically uh, provide your training? So, if you could, what would be an example of a day to day type of training, whether it's for a corporate client or for your own own uh, associates? So we have the whole breadth and scope of training services available. Mm -hmm. So we go from a keynote speech all the way up to an in-depth, multi-phase engagement. And depending upon the client's needs, we will adjust accordingly. So a typical engagement for us might be multiple phases where we train the top leadership or the C-suite first. Mm -hmm. We then may, may move into the management ranks, and then we may move into the front line folks that need our assistance and want to learn how we actually lead and provide incredible guest service on a daily basis. Okay. Now, in retrospect of that question, how would you say the actual training tactically is given differently per level? So is the executive team given the same exact uh, content and uh, script of training, even down to the front line, or are there is there a certain prescribed uh, curriculum for each level? That's a good question. So obviously we vary it depending upon who the audience is and who we're talking to. Okay. But everything we do is based off of what we do here at Disney. Okay. So unlike other companies that may not use an actual benchmark, we're always using Disney as the benchmark. Mm -hmm. And so we really can talk from the heart and talk about what we do best. Okay. And what we do best is provide people with that knowledge of how we do it on the inside of Disney, which a lot of people really want to find out. Okay. Yeah, in, insider's information. That's it. Uh, with that in mind, knowing that the Institute is 25 years, uh, Disney has been doing it for well over 70 years, uh, what they do, and it's looked at as tried, true methods and practices. How would you say there'd be some opportunities or challenges in innovation. Knowing that you've done a lot of these things over the last 80 years, how do you find or cultivate new ways of doing training, approaching your clients, as well as even providing customer service to the very customers that, that are coming to the theme parks and dealing with your associates? So we need to get you into our creativity program. <laughs> we can teach you all those ways. I would love we can to. Talk, we can talk to you about everything that we do. Basically what we do is we really walk through step by step how we think about creativity, especially mm -hmm. in that pillar, how we think through how we think, which is an interesting process for us. Mm -hmm. For instance, how do the Walt Disney Imagineers come up with what they come up with? Mm -hmm. um, what are those processes? A lot of times we talk about thinking inside the box, mm -hmm. and then we talk about thinking outside the box, mm -hmm. and how do you do both of those at the same time? Mm -hmm. What would you say is, and this will be my final question, unless you have anything to add, uh, what would you say is the biggest challenge in delivering training to corporate clients versus your internal associates? I think one of the biggest challenges today with delivering you know, training and development in the world today is you know, do people have the, the desire to want to spend money in this area? I can tell you that the companies that we engage with are the ones that are committed to doing that. Once they commit to doing that, I can tell you when they come back and talk to us after the engagement has been completed, they say it's the best money they've ever spent. That's great. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff. Uh, again, this is Jeff James, Vice President of the Disney Institute, uh, here with Benjamin McCall, Rethink HR, uh, at the ASTD International Conference and Exposition. Thanks a lot for your time.